one I heard many years ago, it, the title claims, true story. <clears throat> As I was out walking, intending no harm, too large a bee, I men grabbed me by the arm. <laughs> Drove me into a cellar, shone lights in my eyes, demanding full questions without any lies. About this new threat to good patriotism, the Society for Creative Anarchism. <laughs> I said it is true to that club I belong, but excuse me, kind gentles, you spelled the name wrong. <laughs> now I swear by the host and the cross and the prism, last word is actually anachronism. <laughs> it just means outdated, pray why don't you look? In Sir Merriam Webster's reliable book. <laughs> it says we're just harmless historical mess. Who wear boilerplate on our butts? <laughs> Who dress up in clothes from the 12th century to smash on each other with fits and debris? <laughs> And make up the world's largest private army. <laughs> this is historical nuts. When finally persuaded to look up the word, they blushed and they winced loud enough to be heard. <laughs> they hastily sent me back out on the street, but I knew it wasn't over and once more we'd meet. So I sent out the warning through lands far and near to give the impression for all the next year. That we're just harmless historical nuts Who wear one with lanes on our bus Who dress up in clothes from the 12th century To bash on each other with sticks and debris And make up the world's largest side army Harmless historical nuts And sure enough, foreign infiltrators came in Snooping for politics, searching for sin <laughs> Three went away again, shaking their heads. The fourth quit his job and turned stick jock in <laughs> He's won coronet, he's in love with the spore, and we still have a copy of his last report. <laughs> that we're just harmless historical nuts, who wear boilerplate on our butts. Who dress up in clothes from the 12th century To bash on each other with sticks and debris And make up the world's largest private army Harmless historical nuts